Hey guys, welcome to another video and this video is all about Russia-Ukraine war and what effects will it have on students who are coming here to study in the UK. So without wasting time, let's get on with it. <clears throat> so there are few major impacts that the war will have on students here. So the war is happening in Ukraine. Russia is invading Ukraine. I know you must have seen it in the video. It's all over the news. So I will not bore you with all the information about the war. But I will only be telling you about the effects that it will have on your studies or expenses mainly and everything that needs you know that you need to know as a student international student in UK. So first and foremost thing will be this war is bringing up the prices of crude oil, gas, electric, everything in the UK. So just to give you an example, I filled up my car a month or two ago and it was 134 or 135 p per liter of petrol and I filled up yesterday again after a month and after two or three weeks after the war started and now I filled it up at 156. So there is a rise of 20p per liter of petrol. This means that all the expenses will go up because of rise in the fuel costs. So all the groceries, the commodities, your daily food items, everything will go up. It is going up already. It has gone up quite a bit and it will continue to go up. So this is one more thing that is adding to your expenses. Now, second point is with the rise in gas and electric charges in the UK, the prices of the uh, consumption, the gas and electric that you are consuming at your house will also increase. So the landlords will, the landlords cost will increase to rent you out, which in turn they will increase your accommodation cost. So by the time you come in September, if you're getting a room for say 350, 400, expect a price rise of at least a 50 pounds, I think, depending on the area. Again, give you to just to give you an example from my personal experience, I just got an email from my gas and electric provider that my estimate was 700 pounds last year, which will increase by 229 pounds in this year. So that is an increase of around 20 pounds a month. No landlord will bear this cost on him uh, on themselves. So it will again run down to you students who will be renting out a room in that accommodation. So keep that in mind also when you're booking your accommodation that the prices will go up. Next will be food. So everything is going up. The prices are going up. So the food will become expensive. For example, uh, Ukraine is a major exporter of sunflower, sunflower seeds, sunflower oil and wheat. So now wheat and sunflower is giving out, you know, the prices are going very high. So it is keep, uh, it will keep on increasing and that will have effect on your daily food expenses also. So keep that in mind also, it will affect your budgeting when you are, you know, shopping every day or going out to eat, the prices will increase. Now, if these, uh, you know, UK and uh, US especially, they are give, uh, putting a lot of sanction on Russia with regards to gas and uh, crude oil and everything. So if these financial sanctions keep on increasing, Russia might, you know, cut down gas supply to Europe or UK eventually. There is a possibility of that and that will uh, give rise to a huge increase in the gas and electric prices. So this is not, this is happening slowly right now, but we need to keep in mind that this may also happen. Since this video is focused on September 2022 intake, it is very highly possible that war, <clears throat> I don't know how the situation will be. It is very dynamic right now, but yes, these are the things that can happen. Now coming from the other perspective, the prices will increase. That is done one perspective. Everything will go up. That is done. Now the second perspective is finding jobs. UK has announced that it will be accepting a lot of refugees from Ukraine around 200,000 more than 200,000 refugees will be coming from Ukraine. So there are a there is a possibility that the jobs competition for the jobs will increase. I don't personally feel that but there was a discussion in a, a local group that we had and I think if you are a master student, you should not be worried about the uh, competition from the refugees, the Ukraine people are coming. I think it's only fair that to give them a fair chance because they are leaving everything behind their country is at war and we should support them. We should try to help them and not consider them as competition. First thing and since you are a master student, you should not be comparing yourself with the people who are coming from outside like uh, as a refugee and they're leaving their country. The country is at war. So we should be very helpful. So 
in a direct way i don't think we should consider them as competition but yes when you go down for job hunting and everything you might find that you know the jobs number of jobs are same but there might be more people applying for those jobs but on this note itself i have heard and i have researched also a little bit that ukraine has banned the male males from 18 onwards 18 years of age to go out of the country so only females and uh, only kids females and kids below 18 years are only going out and they are you know becoming going to other countries for safety and as a refugee so i don't think that poses a major problem for students but yes we should keep that in mind so basically what changes is everything will become more expensive jobs are same and that is it but there is a slight ray of hope and slight ray of positivity that i want to share in this video also that the minimum wage national minimum wage for students is going up not only for students for everyone above the age of 23 24 is going up from 8.91 to 9.5 pounds per hour so if you are earning uh, working say 20 hours a week 80 hours a month so multiply that by 9.5 that will be what you will be earning maximum in this month so there is a slight increase in that national minimum wage so your wages will increase i know the increasing price rises say 20 30% everywhere and your wages are rising by very less amount compared to that but still the government is doing something the situation is very dynamic and by the time you come in september there might be a change so keep uh, you know keep track of how the war is proceeding how will it affect and i think i'll do another video maybe a month or two down the line where the situation is a little bit clearer and maybe it goes in the positive direction and there the war is stopped so i hope things improve and the war stops nobody wants it so that is the effect that will have on your career also in stud for students thank you and stay tuned and if you like this video do share subscribe comment below and let me know your thoughts on how will it affect you personally this war and let's get into conversation and see how it goes for us thank you guys cheers and have a good day